Hi and welcome to my channel again. This is your host Christopher Cheryl Lampus. Today we're going to be teaching you how to add a thumbs up to your video. This becomes increasingly important to remind people to like your video, which helps it rank higher up in the YouTube uh, rankings. So let me show you what I'm talking about first, so you make sure you're in the right place for what you're looking for. Okay, let's use my last video where we go to the end and look. If you watch, put it from here. And the thumbs up goes up and it shakes too, just to give it a little more effect. Okay, so how do we do this? So let's just come off this right now. We're going to go to the internet where if you just type in free thumbs up, you should get a lot of options here. Try and pick something with a good quality. I'm not going to go crazy here or I just want something simple. So let me see here. It's pretty good, pretty simple. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I like this one here. This is good. So, click on it, save as, make sure it goes to where you want it. I want it to go to my thumbnails. So, so oops, my apologies. Up two, because I already got one saved. I'll put number two in there. We don't need that no more. Mm -mm. Okay, so back to Final Cut Pro. We're going to import go to where you saved and you're going to import the thumbs up. Where is it? Here it is. Great. So bring it to here. We'll do. Okay. Now all we've got to do is go to one of my videos and add it to. So let's see, projects, which one we're going to add it to. This one is fine. Doesn't really matter what you're adding it to. Oops, sorry, this is a thumbnail. My apologies. Uh, we'll use this one. So let's go over here we're gonna we normally would add it at the end but we're gonna use it in the middle because I've already got on there so we're gonna add the thumbs up my apologies there you go and what we're gonna do we're gonna go to your effects make sure you're on all and draw. Okay, make sure you're over it. And we're gonna zoom in. There we go. And we're gonna just draw around it. Simple. One, two. I'm going to do this pretty quickly. I'm not going to make it perfect. I say that, but I can't help but <laughs> improve it a little bit. It's important that you zoom in. To make it look good. All right, we're gonna fast forward the rest and get to the fish. All right, we're here at the end. Let's zoom back out. And this is what we have now. So we're going to resize it. All you're going to do, make sure you've got it selected. 
click this icon here and we're gonna go to transform now, all you're gonna do is bring it in until you're happy with the size we're gonna bring it over here in the corner where I like to put it although you can put it right in the middle if you like if it's not important what you're showing and then to add some movement to this we're gonna go to um, let's see here you know to earthquake add that and then you're gonna turn the amount up Let's see how that looks. And there you go. You've got a bit of shake. You can add more to it if you like. It doesn't really matter how you have it, but that looks pretty good to me. I mean, you can go a little crazy with it. There you go. You don't want to go too crazy because you can't see the thumbs up. So, in my opinion, about here is good. What we got? 28 that gets your attention right you can also get some sound effects and if you go to the sound effects and you can oops You can use some of these sound effects in here if I play around with it. Maybe a bell. Some that. Let's have a look. No. There we go. Something like that. I'm not saying this will go with it, but you get my drift. So, there's many different options you can use. There you go, that would be a better one. right so I hope you like the video I hope it was helpful to you this is like a cross between YouTube tutorial and Final Cut Pro so I hope you liked it don't forget to hit the thumbs up and we will speak to you soon